Porcupine Porcupines are rodents with a coat of sharp spines, or quills, that protect against predators. The term covers two families of animals, the Old World porcupines of family Hystricidae, and the New World porcupines of family Erythizontidae. Both families belong to the infraorder Hystricognathi within the profound litiverse order Rodentia and display superficially similar coats of quills, despite this, the two groups are distinct from each other and are not closely related to each other within the Hystricognathi. The Old World porcupines live in Southern Europe, Asia, and most of Africa. They are large, terrestrial, and strictly nocturnal. In taxonomic terms, they form the family Hystricidae. The New World porcupines are indigenous to North America and northern South America. They live in wooded areas and can climb trees, where some species spend their entire lives. They are less strictly nocturnal than their Old World relatives, and generally smaller. In taxonomic terms, they form the family Erythizontidae. Most porcupines are about long, with an long tail. Weighing, they are rounded, large, and slow, and use episomatic strategy of defense. Porcupines occur in various shades of brown, gray, and white. Porcupines' spiny protection resembles that of the unrelated Aranachiomorph hedgehogs and Australian monotremichidnas. The name porcupine comes from Latin porcus pig plus spina spine, quill, via Old Italian, Middle French, Middle English. A regional American name for the animal is quill pig. Fossils belonging to the genus Hystrix date back to the late Miocene of Africa. A porcupine is any of 58 species of rodents belonging to the families Erythizontidae or Hystricidae. Porcupines vary in size considerably. Rothschild's porcupine of South America weighs less than a kilogram. The crested porcupine found in Italy, Sicily, North Africa, and Sub-Saharan Africa can grow to well over. The two families of porcupines are quite different, and although both belong to the Hystricognathi branch of the vast order Rodentia, they are not closely related. The eleven Old World porcupines tend to be fairly large, and have spikes grouped in clusters. The two subfamilies of New World porcupines are mostly smaller, have their quills attached singly rather than grouped in clusters, and are excellent climbers, spending much of their time in trees. The New World porcupines evolve their spines independently and are more closely related to several other families of rodents than they are to the Old World porcupines. Porcupines have a relatively high longevity and had held the record for being the longest living rodent, with one individual living to 27 years, until the record was broken in 2002 by a naked mole rat living to 28 years. The North American porcupine is a herbivore, it eats leaves, herbs, twigs, and green plants such as clover. In the winter, it may eat bark. It often climbs trees to find food. The African porcupine is not a climber and forages on the ground. It is mostly nocturnal, but will sometimes forage for food in the day, eating bark, roots, fruits and berries, as well as farm crops. Porcupines have become a pest in Kenya and are eaten as a delicacy. Defensive behavior displays in a porcupine depend on sight, scent and sound. Often, displays are shown when a porcupine becomes agitated or annoyed. There are four main displays seen in a porcupine which are quill erection, teeth clattering, emitting of odor, and attack. These displays are ranked from least aggressive to most aggressive respectively. A porcupine's coloring aids in part of its defense as most of the predators are nocturnal and colorblind. A porcupine's markings are black and white. The dark body and coarse hair of the porcupine are dark brown slash black and when quills are raised, present a white strip down its back mimicking the look of a skunk. This, along with the raising of the sharp quills, deters predators. Along with the raising of the quills, porcupines clatter their teeth causing warning noise to let predators know not to come closer. The incisors vibrate against each other, the strike zone shifts back and the cheek teeth clatter. This behavior is often paired with body shivering which is used to further display the dangerous quills. The rattling of quills is aided by the hollow quills at the back end of the porcupine. The use of odor is when the sight and sound have failed. An invasive scent is produced from the skin above the tail in times of stress, and is often seen with quill erection. If the above processes fail, the porcupine will attack by running sideways or backwards into predators. A porcupine's tail is also able to swing in the direction of the predator. If contact is made, the quills could be impaled into the predator causing injury or death. Porcupines' quills, or spines, take on various forms, depending on the species, but all are modified hairs coated with thick plates of keratin, and embedded in the skin musculature. 
Old world porcupines have quills embedded in clusters, whereas in new world porcupines, single quills are interspersed with bristles, underfur, and hair. Quills are released by contact or may drop out when the porcupine shakes its body. New quills grow to replace lost ones. Porcupines were long believed to have the ability to project their quills to a considerable distance at an enemy, but this has since been proven to be untrue. There are some possible antibiotic properties within the quills, specifically associated with the free fatty acids coating the quills. The antibiotic properties are believed to aid a porcupine that has suffered from self injury. Porcupines are only occasionally eaten in Western culture, but are very popular in Southeast Asia particularly Vietnam, where the prominent use of the Mesa food source has contributed to significant declines in their populations. More commonly, their quills and guard hairs are used for traditional decorative clothing. For example, their guard hairs are used in the creation of the Native American porky roach headdress. The main quills may be dyed, and then applied in combination with thread to embellish leather accessories such as knife sheaths and leather bags. Lakota women would harvest the quills for quill work by throwing a blanket over a porcupine and retrieving the quills it left stuck in the blanket. Porcupine quills have recently inspired a new type of hypodermic needle. Due to backward-facing barbs on the quills, when used as needles, they are particularly good at two things, penetrating the skin and remaining in place. The presence of barbs acting like anchors makes it more painful to remove a quill that has pierced the skin of a predator. Porcupines occupy a short range of habitats in tropical and temperate parts of Asia, southern Europe, Africa, and North and South America. They live in forests and deserts, and on rocky outcrops and hillsides. Some New World porcupines live in trees, but Old World porcupines stay on the rocks. Porcupines can be found on rocky areas up to high. They are generally nocturnal, but are occasionally active during daylight. Porcupines are distributed into two evolutionarily independent groups within the suborder Histricomorpha of the Rodentia. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.